Hello, um, this week I, I wanted to share a, a personal experience I had during this time that um, I think maybe some of you also struggle with this. I know not everybody does, but it's, it deals with like separation anxiety or, or really what I'm talking about is the inability to touch, um, to hug, to embrace someone you love. Um, for some people, that's a real issue, not being able to, uh, you know, it's one thing to see people, uh, talk to people on the phone, FaceTime with someone, uh, do a Zoom meeting with someone, but it's a, it's a totally different thing when you actually aren't able to physically touch some people. And, um, and I know I struggle with this. Um, I'm, I'm a hugger. I'll admit it. I like to hug. And I like to receive hugs. It's important to me. And I know there's some of you that um, hug, you know, it's not that big a deal. As a matter of fact, you kind of like not having people touch you. So um, I know this isn't for everybody, but for those that... Um, do struggle with this. I just wanted to share you, share with you what um, the verse, a uh, verse that I went to that really helped me through this, and thought maybe it could help someone else. Because um, during the social distancing time, um, you might be going through some struggles on this. And um, and I know, you know, I'll, I'll send someone will send a hug emoji, right? The little hug emoji, um, and it doesn't quite cut it. it it's not the same. Or or someone will post on Facebook, I need a hug, right? And then they'll send, they'll send the GIF, right? They'll send the GIF of, of someone hugging. And, you know, you might send a little reaction with a little heart reaction because you love it. It's cute. But it, it's still not the same. It's not the same as being able to embrace and, or, or it says greet one another with a holy kiss and to have that interaction with the saints and people we love. So, um, you know, I personally am that type of person. I know we... Many years ago, we did love languages, and, and high on my love language was the need for physical touch. It's just something that is, uh, uh, in me, we're all wired a little differently. But for those that have that, that, that you're missing that, that physical embrace, I, I want to share with you uh, a verse that helped me out, because um, I went to God in prayer about this, saying, God, I, what's going on? I, I miss that. I miss that, that. Why can't I have the uh, physical touch at this time? And he took me to a verse, which, you know, I, I always knew this was in the Bible. I, I, I think I've read it, but it never, it never was real to me or, or never really spoke to me and, until now. It's like, wow, this, this is, there's a scriptural, God said this may happen. And it's from Ecclesiastes. And in Ecclesiastes 3, uh, verse 1, is it, it talks about that to everything there is a season. And there's a time to every purpose under heaven. And then one of these things in verse 5, it says there's a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. And I was like, wow, wow, it's in the Bible that there may be times in life that um, it's a time not to embrace. And I got to tell you that when I saw this, it just it just settled my heart, just settled me down that, that God said there could be times like this, that this will happen. I can do this. I can get through this. It's just a season. It's a short season. And there will be time to embrace again. And I, and I think it's going to be very soon. So just for those of you that are struggling with that, I, I encourage you to keep the faith. The Lord is coming soon. And this time of separation is going to end. And when it does... Those of you who are incredible huggers, and I know there's some of you, when you hug, whoa, it ministers to people. And those of you who greet with a holy kiss and, and, and have that physical touch are going to be needed in the church. So um, I just wanted to send this little note to encourage you, strengthen you, and to help you and, and, and see that God says this is a time, but there's going to be a time to embrace again. And Christ is coming back, which is going to be a great time of embracing. Hallelujah, that will be great. Just wanted to share that with you. I love you. God bless you.